Welcome to Computer Active's video guides to Windows 7. In this video we'll show you how to upgrade a Windows Vista computer to run Windows 7. Now there's two ways to do this. The first is to do a clean install. That's where you remove everything from your hard disk, including Windows Vista, all your programs, all your files, and then put a new copy of Windows 7 on. If you'd like to do that, then follow the instructions in our How to Upgrade Windows XP video because they'll work fine. What we'll do in this video is we'll install Windows 7 over the top of Windows Vista as an upgrade. So this leaves all your programs and files in place, but replaces Vista with Windows 7. Now before you can do this, there are a couple of things you need to check. First of all, your copy of Windows Vista does need to have at least Service Pack 1 installed on it. If you've got Service Pack 2, that's great, but if you never installed SP1, you will have to do that before you go ahead with the upgrade. You'll also need about 12 gigabytes of free hard disk space. Also, although this installation should leave everything in its place, this is a computer so there's a pretty good chance that something might go wrong. So, back up everything that's important before continuing. Copy all your documents to an external hard disk. Also make sure you back up everything like emails, address books and uh, internet browser bookmarks. Everything that you need to keep should something go wrong. Once you've done that, just double click the DVD drive and the Windows 7 installation will start. There's quite a bit of waiting around in these early stages, so we're just going to skip forward a few seconds. And here's the option to install now, so we'll click that. Again, the computer is going to think about this for a good 30 seconds or so, so we'll just skip into the future. Right. This option allows you to choose between getting updates online or just using all the files on the DVD. Now, if you have got a broadband connection, we strongly recommend using the top option. This will download any updates that there might be for the installation and it could help to prevent some problems. If you haven't got broadband and it's not connected all the time, then obviously don't worry, just choose the lower option. So, in this case we're downloading a couple of megabytes worth of upgrades to the installation and then what it'll do once those are downloaded is restart. So it's going to take maybe another 30 seconds or so before the installation starts and we'll just skip that here. OK, and here's the installation proper. So first things first, accept the license. Now you've got the choice between a clean install, which they call custom, or the upgrade. Uh, we want to do the upgrade, so we're going to click that. And it's just going to check for any compatibility problems. Now this has actually thrown up a problem with our audio driver. Now, the best thing to do if you get something like this is follow the instructions on the screen. For the sake of an easy life, we're just going to continue and we'll fix this later. So here we go, the Windows installation is now starting. Now, this process takes a long time. Could be several minutes, could be more than an hour. The best thing to do is to leave your computer well alone while it gets on with it. You will notice the computer reboots several times. Just leave it alone. If you see a menu as the computer is booting up, don't be tempted to choose any options. Just leave it to get on with it. Eventually, after what seems like forever, you'll see this screen here, Setups preparing your computer for first use and then checking video performance. This is a sign that you're almost at the end of the process. This is just the final stage of preparing the computer, and in a moment we'll get a chance to choose all the options. So, first of all you'll be asked to type in your product key. If you have a product key from the box of Windows 7 then do that, we're just going to skip ahead here, we'll activate it later. Obviously, choose to use the recommended settings for security, it's the best thing to do. And uh, you can adjust the clock if you really need to. Uh, ours is fine, we'll just click next. We're already connected to a network, so we're going to tell it that it's a home network, it's a safe place to uh, connect to the internet. If you're not connected to the network, you won't even see this option, obviously. And here we go, Windows is finalising our settings. One more black screen later, and finally, here's the logon box for Windows 7, so we can tap in the password. And then there's just one more long wait whilst the preparing your desktop screen sits there. Before eventually, you'll get to see your new Windows 7 desktop. Now, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner we've actually got a uh, Windows update installing. There's a good reason for that. Uh, you might remember earlier on we were warned that there might be a problem with our uh, audio driver on this computer. And uh, you'll see there's a compatibility report on the desktop. If we just open up 
Windows update here. What it's actually doing is uh, preparing to update their audio driver so that it'll work on Windows 7. So, we've now shown you how to upgrade from Windows Vista to Windows 7. For more information on how to use Windows 7, you'll find lots of videos on the Computer Active website.